Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Frostpunk 2. Our people are out there still exploring both of the, the new locations we discovered last episode. We are underway of building a new extraction district. We're almost actually to the point where we could build that factory. But before we do that, we need an industrial district. So let's let this... So we're researching asbestos lining. That'll knock down the amount of coal needed. Look at that. Now we're back up to 75. So what I think I want to do here is turn off one of the research buildings. Before I start building the new industrial district... Let's see how long it'll take us to research the scouts headquarters here. 12 weeks. That's very doable because this has to be done in 36 weeks. So let's just let the one research house deal with that. And now let's build our industrial district because we need this to build our factory. And we're going to sandwich this between our two exa extraction districts here because it will help us with the heat for both districts actually so having three here is going to improve this one i wonder hold on what if we do one two three one two three oh he's getting really good at it so now we have a max plus three heat demand here a max plus three heat demand in the new district we're building and then I guess we only get two from this one. So I guess three, three, and two. I don't think there's a way to make this even better. Because we'd have to get all the way over to one of these other tiles. And I don't, yeah, and we didn't frost break here. So we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't slam our district into the middle there. But uh, that's fine. We'll go with this. And then we'll try to save up our heat stamps to build that factory so we can address our goods deficit. Our materials deficit is not as improved as I was hoping it would be from our extraction district. So I kind of wonder... Please exercise caution even in quarantine. One illness does not make you invulnerable to others. <laughs> I wonder if we shouldn't think about getting even more materials here. Like, do we frost break all the way out here to try and get even more stuff? I feel like we should. gonna take even more of our our tokens so we're not gonna be able to get the factory that I want but we have to do something sick people have returned to work fantastic and it's cuz disease is gone Woohoo! all right cold is growing that's not great we need to get more housing to deal with that I'm kind of thinking frost breaking down into this location where it's like sheltered would be a good one. I wonder what this district being finished will do to our coal consumption. How much is left in this district here? 40 weeks left. We're going to run out there soon. It's not so bad to think about running out of there. Because then if we get the, the oil going out in the wasteland... That'll be good. Demands and requirements. I I am well aware that demands are necessary. Good God, our our material <laughs> our materials is gonna last us six weeks. That's not good. Oh no, and we don't have enough people to build a new extraction district, right? It takes six hundred workforce. Ugh. Oh, what do we do? Where are people working? A lot of people are working in the housing, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. I 
I wonder if I turn off the prefabs for now. You know? Because, like, this district being on is good because we do need prefabs to keep building. But we should shut it off whenever we're not using it. Or maybe it's the same thing with the, the industrial district. <laughs> Excuse me. We built the industrial district to try and address our our goods production okay i have a plan so let's deactivate this district that'll help with our material surplus and then let's get this other district going one two three four five six Five locations in one district's pretty good. And then if we need to, we could make another district that... Or we could expand into these two, actually. That's pretty pretty nice. So let's do this one. And then what we'll do is we'll alternate between turning on our industrial district and this district. And this one's going to run out of prefabs eventually anyway. So then once this one's done, we can dismantle it and move those people elsewhere. Okay, so it's all, I'm, I'm figuring out how to juggle the workforce depending on what you need in the moment. I would love to, yeah, getting this extraction district back up, uh, or back up and running, just up and running in general would be good, so then we can build up a surplus of materials here. Looming cold. As the captain's authority weakened, different groups started pulling the city in their own direction. New London grew overpopulated, whiteouts ruined expansion attempts, and now coal is finally running out. Without heat and shelter, people will start freezing to death. Although the captain and appointed you before passing people are anxious you're not up to the task prove them wrong cold has risen to a concerning level people may die or suffer frostbite provide shelter and heat uh oh all right so we do need to build more housing i do i have been ignoring that for a while so let's go ahead and frost break into this zone down here there that that's going to be a, actually a really good district so let's frost break into there we're still not addressing our goods problem. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to, and I'm like, I'll save up for that factory someday, and then I never do. The problems of budgeting in general. This one's going to last forever. That one, that extraction district is never not going anywhere. This one, much less. This food is going to last for a very long time. This one's a bit smaller, but doing okay. Do we have? We do have a new law that we could pass. What do we even have left? We've got survival. Okay, we got food additives. New. We have a law there. Funerals, but nobody's died yet, so maybe we don't want to do that. And then we could try to do guided voting, but I think we should go for food additives. And go for chemical additives. Jeez, 46 people are in favor of it already. I think we should go for chemical additives because disease marginally being increased will be counterbalanced by our, our other law that decreases disease. So let's go for food production efficiency and then just, just let it ride. I don't think we need to convince anybody to go for this. We just need five people. There you go. Easy peasy. The delegates have spoken. The law. Nice! We have 87 food coming in now. Stockpile will be filled in 65 days. That's fantastic. And uh, it is growing, but it's mostly because of the increase from cold. So I'm hoping once we get this district broken out... <laughs> Maybe we're eating chemicals, but at least we're eating. Listen to Frank. All these toxins! It's disgusting! I can't give this food to my children. Oh no, the hippies have arrived. Alright, housing. Oh, see, we're out of the prefabs now. But the good news is, this guy is still rolling. So how much- how are, We're getting 16 per week. So we need 200 more to get housing going. So that'll be 150... Like six more weeks before we can get housing going. And our material surplus is through the roof now, which is great. 
desolate coast is explored. Let's go check on our desolate coast exploration team. The meadow. Dangerous. The graveyard. Not dangerous. Oh, it's the graveyard for ships. Probably due to an unknown sea current, this area is full of old shipwrecks. Ground to mangled remains by tons of sea ice. It is a dangerous place where few dare to tread. Dangerous, you say? I beg to differ, according to the game. All right, what have we discovered out here? A mangled cart. Among debris in a mangled cart, we found an old navigation log. We can't wander forever. If we can only get through this canyon, then we can set up a permanent base next to the oil. The cart holds a large number of cores. That would be great. We'll see if we have the spare people necessary to do that. An oil cistern. A tankard filled with oil hangs in a narrow crevasse. It'll be... It will be dangerous to extract without specialized equipment. We don't have what any... Th I don't know what mountaineers are. The Old Dreadnought. Hey, this is where we just... We had our first chapter. A ruined machine lies across a crevasse. Wagons spilled into the nearby snow. There are clear signs that people have come and gone from this site, even storing goods here. But what amazed our scouts the most is the huge quantity of readily available oil. This should this could be the fuel so source we've been searching for. We found oil! We'll be able to build a new colony on this site. Oh! Oil tombs, dude. On the broken shore lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil as it rests beside rich deposits. Perhaps the site was a refueling station. But deep in the black pools, pools? <laughs> pools lie rows of frozen bodies, wrapped in shrouds and placed in the still wells. Our scouts shudder at the sight. These oil deposits would surely solve our fuel needs, but we would have to desecrate these graves to access all of them. I obviously remove the bodies. Yeah. We get we can't be Are we what are we gonna fight a war with the Frostlanders because we disturbed the people in the oil? That's insane. The oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we will need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we settle beyond New London. Create a colony at the old dreadnought and connect it with a solid trail to New London. Only then can supply be assured. This will save the city. Okay, so how do I build a supply? Establish a colony at the old dreadnought. Fudge, we need uh, 20 teams. Seventy-five tokens, only fifteen prefabs, and it'll take our ten, our team of ten, uh, three weeks to do this. Honestly, that's fine because we needed twenty to do that anyway. So I think this is a good investment. Go for it. It's gonna knock down our prefabs amount a little bit, so we can't build our housing quite yet. But I think that's a good investment and our resource deposit is nearly depleted so we need to get on that oil like instantly oh some people have frozen to death crap 106 people that's a lot of people the approach is explored it will kill us all well we'll have to pass some sort of funeral law soon all right what have we discovered in the approach here possible settlement whale mine Multiple pods of whales froze here after being pursued by humanity's last whaling vessels into the freezing harbor. Scouts are amazed at the sight of the massive bodies made pale by the ice. Finally, I found my white whale, the scout commander jokes. No one laughs. Years ago, the, cow the captain sent a team with machines to bore through the ice and mine out the whale meat. We can take the machines back to New London to assist our extraction or send a new team here to finish the job. Production efficiency for mining or establish a food outpost. Huh. We don't really have the spare Frostland teams to do this one right now. So, I. but we don't really care about the 
the coal mine because our coal mine is going to run out fairly soon too. An old coal hauling crawler, half buried in the snow, it appears the transport's navigation devices were tampered with and its charts were inaccurate. Graffiti has been etched into one side. New London leeches. Regardless of what happened here, the coal is ours for the taking. Yeah, 100% take the coal back to the t the city. It'll give us just some some leeway. Bring me back into the city. What do we got as far as spare coal? We actually don't have enough space to bring all that coal in. People registered as sick. How long was it going to I should have told them to pause. Three weeks. All right, they're going to get here before I can build the outpost. That was a mistake on my part. I should have uh, thought about that before I, I had them bring all that coal back. Actually, we should probably just shut you off for now, then. Stupid, stupid. I know deaths due to coal. Sorry. We're almost up to the amount of prefabs I need to build more houses. Basically, the reason I shut off the coal is because we're going to overload our coal require or our, our coal capacity anyway. So we might as well drain some of the resource that we have and get the, the workers back. In which case, I guess I could just turn you on. Because we still have materials surplus even with that. Demands have been met. Huzzah! Salvage those parts. We don't want to do this quite yet. Because I need to build housing. People are starting to freeze to death, so... I need to finally address that. Transferring coal. Transferring cores. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could see them coming in. That's kind of neat. One more amount of prefabs, please. Yes! Okay. Let's build that district. Housing. Out here in the stable crevasse. Doot, doot. Doot, doot. Perfect. Kablamo. I wonder how much housing this is going to get us. So now we need to save up heat stamps to get this colony established out here. Or uh, not heat stamps, sorry. We need to save up prefabs. So there's 100 prefabs. We'll have our, our scout teams ready. And we have the cores necessary. We'll have quite a few cores, actually. Workforce is... Oh, eight people are absent. I see. I was like, what does this mean? Only two people are absent now. We'll pass a law soon to deal with the bodies. Don't worry. They're like, the bodies are stacking up. What do we do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 12 more prefabs. Yeah, we don't want to build that guy. We got other things to do. But food surplus, material surplus is good. We could think about, get, try, you know, maybe what we do now is try to save up for the heat, heat stamps fa uh, factory. The goods factory. All right, we're at we're at the max of coal. The the teams have arrived. All right, we have. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, I got excited because we had the twenty frostland teams, but we still need the hundred prefabs necessary. This is going to be exciting. I hope. Cross your fingers. That it's going to make a big dent in the housing, being fulfilled.
Although I have a feeling it's only going to be plus 25. But we'll see. If it's plus 25, that means we need to get even more... Another housing district going. Yep, <laughs> it, was, it was a little more than plus 25. Plus 30, okay. Well, maybe we want to frost break into this other canyon over here then. It's going to eat into our supply of... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might not be so bad, because then if you need to build a second district... Because you can only get the plus three bonus in one district. So maybe if you get a district half in the zone, the stable crevasse, and then you build a second district, they would kind of like feed off of each other maybe? Perhaps? All right, we have the prefabs. Back to the ice lands. All the way out here. Send the colonists. Three th Does this mean... Oh, no. <laughs> what? Three... I was just gonna read that. You didn't let me read it. What does it mean when 3,000 people leave the city? Oh, God. We don't have any workforce. This is devastating. Although it does reduce... This is actually kind of fascinating. So it does reduce the demand for all sorts of stuff across the board. Huh. Let's switch you to goods. Okay, okay. So our efficiency has decreased. I, took, I should have been thinking about this too. Is that our demand for stuff should have been... De uh, I should have like balanced the, uh, the population better. This is, this is interesting. All right. The decrease in efficiency is actually pretty good. Can I increase you a little bit to get us over the housing hump? I can. Our housing is balanced perfectly now. Cold is diminishing. Disease is diminishing. Huzzah! The way to fix all of your problems is to banish 3,000 of your citizens to the, to the wasteland! <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Look at this, and now our heat stamps are fine. Isolated children. Steward, there are complaints about our quarantine policy. Forced separation from loved ones is difficult for all when they have to go into quarantine. It is especially hard for parents whose children are quarantined alone. One such mother came to the quarantine facility every day asking to be allowed in to take care of her son. He's deathly afraid of being alone. He can't cope without me, she pleads. Should we allow healthy parents into the facility with their sick children? That seems st stupid. Because that defeats the point of the quarantine. I'm sorry, pilgrims. A, there's only six of you in my... Um... There's only six of you in, in my co uh, Congress. They don't like me. We can't risk everyone say Exactly! It's not a quarantine if you let some people into quarantine. You idiots. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now it's all about getting the, the districts back up and running, but I'm pleased with this balance now. I'm uh, like kicking 3,000. I never would have guessed kicking 3,000 people out of the city would have fixed a lot of things. It's very funny. Oh, look at that. It's like a little village. Oh, do I get to build over here? Dude. Multiple pot. Oh, neat! It increases our supply by a hundred food until its deposit of eighty thousand food is depleted. So we just need to connect with the the place over here, right? Like that. Oh, I see. Does this work? It takes fifty tokens, ten prefabs, and our ten teams. Twenty weeks. I think that'll work. Right? Maybe? <laughs> oh, somebody has something to say. 
Oh, we gotta deal with the bodies. I forgot. Uh, sorry? Law. I'm surprised nobody's been like, what do we do with all these bodies? There are a variety of practices regarding funeral rites. Harvesting funerals. The deceased will be harvested and their healthy body parts will be used to support city health care. Unharvested remains will be incinerated and the ashes transferred to relatives. Dude! <laughs> That's some dystopian <laughs> nightmare nonsense and I love it. <laughs> Bodies will be buried untouched after a traditional funeral to show proper respect to the departed. Relatives must be allowed to mourn with dignity. Never. <laughs> We're gonna... Dude, research speed and disease slightly decreased? Sign me up. Proposed. Dude, there's only 14 people against it. I don't even think I have to convince anybody to do this. Vote. Hit me with it. Give me 21 votes. Do it. Yes! Dude, I got 31 votes. Kabam. A new law. Alright, what do you have to say? The longing of a little heart. Steward, the young boy whose mother knocks on the gates of the quarantine camp every day is faring very badly. Our doctors cannot fully explain why he does not respond to medications like other patients. They fear that the child may never fully recover. I mean, one boy does not jeopardize like justify jeopardizing the entirety of the town i'm sorry that may be cold but it is the truth 103 more weeks it'll be interesting to see what happens when the colder season hits but we still have coal to be tapping into if we need to humanity needs everything it can get even our organs Thank you, Beatrice. They'll cut up father? We won't bury him? I mean, you can have the, the other parts of him. I guess we're incinerating the other parts, so maybe not. How did we end up with an odd number of Frostland teams? Or an, a, like a four. Oh, look at that. Now we're getting food? Dude, food is through the roof. I guess we could shut off our bio facility, right? Yeah, we don't need to be running that thing right now. And we can even lower the efficiency of the food district even further. Are you a food district? You are. So yeah, just like... Do that, and then... Increase the efficiency of the... Industrial district. Uh, And then... The ha like what which district do you want? I guess maybe the the cra or the crafting district I guess maybe yeah you just want to boost all of the stuff that is giving you like tangible goods it does increase our coal consumption but we're, we're gonna try and if um improve that by getting the oil online oh I guess that's probably why we have an odd number is because uh, these guys are at lower efficiency so maybe we should get you back up 7 and then if I get you back up are we at 10 fantastic okay good makes sense what do we do with those 10 people well you're already running you Okay, we've taken everything of value from that site. What about you? What do you do? Oh, that's right. We don't have any Mountaineers. Operational Scouts Headquarters Building. Okay. So maybe we should build that now. We do... Well, we don't have a lot of spare workforce now because I yeeted them into all the buildings. 24 weeks. Growing fairly slowly... Oh, I see. The growth progress is at 34%. The population is rising steadily. I understand. I thought it was saying the population was growing at 34%. It will hit 100% and then your population increases. I see. How many people were freaking out last up? Not freaking out is a rude thing to say. But how many people were thinking I was insane by being like, you didn't, you didn't read. You didn't get it. You're right. I didn't get it. 
Let's, uh, hmm. I know I just increased. Appreciates all your adoring letters. Uh, we'll answer personally in due time. We should build that refurbishing factory. We're almost to the to the level we need. 180. We need two more heat stamps. The fact that oh, it even let me. Oh, cool! I didn't realize it by bringing in those that coal, it would let me go beyond the the amount. You see how I have 60,000 out of 50,000? I'm glad they didn't just like throw it into the garbage. All right, we have the resources for the factory. We don't have the workforce, I forgot. Okay, uh, hold on. Let's lower, let's lower the goods amount. Hold on, pause. Oh, you're the food district. Hold on. One, two. All right, we have the workforce. Is it 600 or 400? 400, okay. Build this factory. Now, what do you want? Unwanted destiny. Steward, a father has come to our offices with his son. They both will ask you to hear them out. This boy is not cut out for a blacksmith, says the father. His knack is for words. Poetry, I can bend steel, but he can stir souls. Please let him be apprenticed under someone who can teach him to use his talents. Their plea echoes the sentiments of some that family apprenticeship limits the prospects of children born into an arduous career path. What should we do? I don't want to make it less... You think this would make the, the law more effective, right? Is because instead of putting somebody into an apprenticeship that they're no good at, they would be like, all right, you're good at this thing. You go apprentice to this other guy. But I don't want to make the law less less flexible, or, or may, make the law s less effective. So let's stick with it. We'll make the at least we're making the pilgrims happy, so it's not just a a net negative. I don't want to be you, father. You need to understand. <laughs> Anyway, let's pause the episode there. Uh, that's a good that's a good place to pause. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of Frostpunk 2 or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.